So good morning. Um, went for a nice little trip down south last night, and uh, woke up this morning in unfamiliar territory, unfamiliar surroundings. But really, really nice. I found myself in the middle of Leicestershire in uh, lost in Europe territory so yeah it's quite cool to step out the van this morning and uh, sit with my coffee looking at a lost in Europe video live in the flesh it's quite cool transported back to the 1940s <laughs> it's funny actually that Jeep <laughs> came past me whilst I'm stood taking photos of a uh, a monument a remembrance monument what's the irony in that like up on a little plateau it seems with uh, flat rolling fields just rolling off into the distance everywhere bare trees just a really nice little spot had a really good day today uh, chat with Greg this morning and got to see his van and a nice little coffee and then go for a little walk and get some nice little footage of the surrounding park up and then get to sit in the cab of the beast with Ash and have a nice morning coffee 
and just have a, have a nice little chat and just, you know, really chilled out, really, really good. Then have a little convoy, four of us, 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive maybe, to this park up and yeah, it's just been really good. It's been really fun just to sort of have the camera out today and take footage and hopefully what you'll see is, you know, works out to be okay and gives you a, a snapshot of a, a day in the life of uh, Asher Marie and Lost in Europe. But yeah, it's been really fun, really fun day. Really good to watch Ash and his techniques and all the things that he has to go through with regards to his filming and seeing his first um, van tour um, filming. That was really cool to watch and got to do some footage for myself as well. It's just been such a nice chilled out day, just sort of, you know, just being out here in nature and just being able to just take your time and do what you want to do and just no pressures, no timeline, nothing. It's been really, really cool. So we're all parked up now. Uh, Greg's gone now. So it's just the three Ivicos now huddled over there in the um, in a little lay-by off this amazing little country road. I and mean, the only people that have been here are sort of dirt bikes and off-road Land Rovers, etc. The occasional dog walker, cyclist. I mean, really nice. So, just doing this, we'll sign out. This is Saturday night. I'll go back in, probably watch a couple of episodes on Netflix or something or other, and then we'll just sort of team up and buddy up in one of the vans and just have a nice chilled evening and then tomorrow we'll see what tomorrow brings maybe um, Ash will do a, a video of my van tomorrow we'll see see what a day brings and stuff like that but yeah a day in uh, the life of lost in Europe lost in Leicestershire <laughs> so um, I can see the appeal of this place and um, yeah, it's really nice to have the privilege of um, being able to run around in um, Ash's estate.
from four to three to one. I'm now left in this uh, field by myself. Um, using this time just to do this vlog and to start recording some of the other build vlogs. Um, what can I say? What an amazing weekend. I've had such a lovely time. It was so nice to, to meet up with Ash and Marie again and uh, to meet Greg too and just have a really chilled out weekend. It's been really, really cool. Um, it's really nice to experience the countryside that Ash has in all of his videos on a regular basis and it's quite nice to see that first hand. Uh, Greg left yesterday and we were just the three of us here. I was hoping for a really nice sunset but I didn't really get a good sunset due to the cloud. Um, I just had a really chilled out evening, watched some Netflix and then uh, met up with the other guys and we just had a couple of drinks and chilled out watching YouTube videos funny enough. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's been really cool. And today was uh, really good. A an auspicious start when I went out. I heard a knock on my van this morning. Um, not the uh, knock, but a um, a bang, let's say. And I thought, oh yeah, that would be some kind of branch or something that's fallen. Because obviously the van all night has just been rocking with these uh, storms that we're having at the moment. And um, then I went out. Uh, once I'd woken up properly and uh, lo and behold there was a great big tree that had fallen down behind me um, missed my van by about six foot so um, yeah fairly close call um, had Greg still been parked there last night because he left yesterday but I think if he'd stayed last night I think that tree would have gone through his windscreen um, so yeah quite lucky uh, so yeah it's been a really bumpy night the van's been rocking and clinking and clanking all night long um, so uh, but at the same time it's been quite relaxing and then today uh, Ash came and did um, an extensive van tour it was really good to to see him work at first hand and um, to receive uh, praise and admiration from a fellow van lifer and also another Iveco driver so that's always quite nice to, to get that um, and they've gone uh, Marie bless her I was able to I bought these things from her website Marie Garrett's uh, website and so I've got these nice little uh, candle smelly candle jars One's lavender, and uh, that one there is uh, cinnamon, beautifully handcrafted and handmade. So thank you, Marie. So I shall put those on at some point. So yeah, this is it. Really, this is the end of a, a really nice weekend—a weekend lost in Leicestershire. I'll head back up the road, take my time, um, and see how uh, treacherous the, the roads are with this weather. So, thanks for uh, joining me on this little weekend trip, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.